Today we're going to do a light inspection on a 2000 Freightliner FS65. Hope you enjoy. Both emergency exits on each side, roof hatch, there's the emergency door, this bus is made by Thomas. begin your light inspection. First thing let's do is turn your key back or all the way forward. Cut my radio off. Okay now first what you're going to do turn your park lights and headlights on. Turn signals. Interior lights. And you begin. First you hit your your yellow amber lights. That one's working. 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 Those are working. Park lights up there are working. Is working and that one is working. Check your left side of your bus first and then your right side. Just to get a good view, I'll, I'll back it up for you. Okay, now to the right side of your bus. I'm gonna try and keep the county name out of this as much as possible. Okay, now next. And you start with your red lights. Stop arms working. Not completely. Red lights are working. There is a minor leak in my airbag. Stop sign is working. And there is a minor leak in that too. Now, to the back of the bus. And remember, always check left side of your bus and the right. And check see if your reds are working. Heated mirrors. Got your fan. Let me cut these lights off. You got your passenger heater. You got your defrost heater. Your other passenger heater. And your water pump. This is how the door switch is on our county. There's your warning light cancel switch. And there's your override. Like if you have your Let's say you have your yellow lights on. Then you hit your override. And it, your red lights come on. There's your interior lights, which I do have on right now. There's your strobe. We forgot to check that. There's your camera switch. This is how we do it in our camera. We have our cameras. So, Okay, there is your wipers. Your windshield washer fluid switch is this. And here's your lift. 
the weird thing about ours on this specific bus, you can hit it and cut it right back off. Well, they must have fixed it. Yep, they fixed it. Never mind. And there's our radio. And the weird thing about this bus that I really do like is that button right there. And then you can push that. And right here, you can move your stream up and down, but I don't have, obviously I don't have enough air pressure to, to do that. There's your fuel gauge, your speedometer. There's your RPMs, your oil pressure, your watt pressure, and your battery volts. This I never got what was for. If someone could mention in the comments below what this is for, I would really appreciate it. And that's your idle switch. There's your RPM control. You push that up whenever you have your bus running. And you push this to push up your RPMs. You just do it like that. There's your panel light switch. That, you can push this button down once. And right here, you can see it cuts them on and off. That little switch that I was just showing you. And there's your transmission switch. This is a automatic school bus, as you can see. There is your your bus heater. That is for whenever you hit this and cut your heaters on. You can turn that like so. And it will uh, heat up your bus quicker. And let's get to the engine. I'm going to, uh, let's see. And my door is not working, fellas. Probably don't have enough air pressure to, air pressure to open it. And one more thing I forgot to check. I've been having some trouble out of one of these right here. That one's not working. Usually got to pull up on them a couple times. That one does work. That one does work. And Bandit, get off the bus. Vamoose. Okay. going to raise our hood and this bus has had a major oil leak I'll show you that whenever I get the hood raised let's see hold on let me switch hands This is a Cummins 24 valve engine. There's all your air hoses, your uh, transmit or not transmission, steering fluid, and all the other essentials you need. This does have a small turbo engine. And that oil leak I was talking about is right back there on the axle or on the leaf springs. And I do have an air leak. There's my mirrors. There's my other mirror. <coughs> That's it. Let's see if we can find that turbo box. I believe that is the turbo box. I don't really know, to be honest. Windshield washer fluid container. This bus, the weird thing, it does have two horns, which I do not get. Well, this is the end of my video. If you would, uh, if you would, please subscribe, and there will be more videos to come. Thank you all for watching.